This is the new updated version of setting up the tables on the BU260. The tools you're going to need, if you have them, are 12 inch rule, Allen keys, uh, Phillips screwdriver, and some feeler gauges. And if you have a straight edge, that'd be brilliant. So to start with, you need your 12 inch rule. I hold on 30 mil on the edge of the table, on the outfeed table, and as you carefully roll the block over, it will grab the steel roll and you'll get a rollover. And this one has a rollover about three to five mil. You want to make sure these are equal and between three to six mil. So this one's okay. If it's not okay, on the back half, you would need to remove this back cover. There's six screws, three on each side. The top plate will need to be removed and it lifts off. So the adjustments for both tables on the updated version, they're the same. So you have three Allen keys on each side. These two here are your locking Allen keys. These ones are the grub screws, two on the top, two underneath, which adjust the pin in the middle. So for instance, if this corner on your outfeed table is too low, you'd slacken this screw, you would slacken this one, and you'd tighten that underneath. That will push this pin up very slightly and do it, I'd say, an eighth of a turn and check it because a little bit goes a long way. You then need to, if or right, the same applies to the back. If this is too low or too high when it comes to using a straight edge, these are the ones you're adjusting. So if it's too low with the straight edge on, slacken the locking screw and adjust these accordingly. And it'll be the same now on the other side. When it comes to the front, if you have the same issue, the principle is the same with the adjustments, but the adjustment bolts are under this panel. So you undo the top two screws Use a six mil Allen key and take the handles off. If the tables aren't locked in, they will fly up. But just make sure that they are in and just nipped up. You also need to remove the adjuster handle lock. And there is no need to take off or remove the screws here on the front, because that's just holding the three pieces of the cover together. And then just lift this off, careful of the pointer, bring it around, that's removed. So the adjustment screws for these are here and here. This is a 16 mil spanner, so you obviously need a 16 mil spanner too. Same on this side, and you just you would slacken. If this corner here on the front was too low, slacken this bolt, and then you adjust it with this grub screw here. But what you want to make sure of is that when you lock it, it doesn't 
rock when it comes down. So if you pull it down, if it's resting on this bolt and this bolt is too high, as you lock it, it will make the table kick up. So you would need to, what I do is adjust this one so it's correct, lock it very lightly so it doesn't move, slacken this bolt nut and wind that down just by finger till it touches the bed of the frame. Once that's all locked in, take it off and check when it's locked, it doesn't move once you tighten it up. When we put the straight edge on, we do it at the front and the rear. Make sure the table is fully up. Make sure the blades aren't interfering with the height. And then we would use the feeler gauges with 0.05 and we would check along to make sure that there's no gap. If that's all okay, on the front and the back, put the covers back on and do a test cut.